grab a bottle or snap a tab. It's time for Antebrewum South Georgia Beer Report. South Georgia's first craft beer podcast with Ryan and Danny. This month, Ryan and Danny have a chilling interview with Thrasher Brewing Company from Valdosta, Georgia, and blast through a spooky 5.6 minute slasher six pack review. Will you be able to handle the tale of Orange Head? Stick around for the Craft Beer Dive Joke of the Month to find out if you dare. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to the latest episode of Antebrew South Georgia Beer Report. I'm Danny. I'm Ryan. And we're excited today. We got Valdosta's uh, newest up and coming brewers that you guys are Thrasher Brewing Company. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Very good. And we've got, go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm Wade Register. All right. I'm John Milne. Uh, Nick Heron. All right. And so we are excited to uh, talk about some local Valdosta beer. But as always, we are going to start with. What you drinking? What you drinking, Danny? I have a random cider from Atlanta Cider Company. Just something I picked up on the road. How is Georgia it? Georgia Tick. Georgia Tick, how is it? Tastes like cider. I had that company's like rum barreled cider. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty, that, that, it was fine. It was, it was okay. All right. How about you, Home Slice? I'm Slice. drinking, what am I drinking? A Beta 30, 30 degree, 90 degree. What does it say? Coordinates to what? I don't know. Coordinates to a good time. <laughs> or oh to disappoint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once again, a random tick. It's a crisp gold lager. With a light yeah. It's it's a regular craft lager beer. It's it's fine. It's good. How about you guys? Uh, I'm having one of our um, Thrasher's uh, Hop Sours that we uh, did, what, two weeks ago? Well, yeah, two weeks ago. Two weeks? Okay, two weeks, two weeks, weeks with a question mark. Right. Um, yeah. But yeah. Uh, Is that the one with the hops in it? Mm-hmm. The hop sour? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know you said hop. Right? I thought you just said sour. Welcome, Wade. <laughs> but um, it's, it's personally one of my favorites that we've done. It's really, really smooth body, hop, IPA, hint with uh, just a refreshing mango flavor is so so good sweet also mango juice no mango flavor mango juice was that the citro citro mango melon beer you were t- yeah yeah, yeah. trying yeah. to figure out a name for it <laughs> I, was, I was kind of hoping you guys were gonna bring that i wanted to try that one so we brought, yeah, we so brought six of them brought six all, all, everything that we've had kegged at the moment and um ready to well that we thought was really really ready good to give. yeah mm-hmm. we sweet. were confident in Fantastic. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm drinking our IPA. And Good it's sick. delicious. <laughs> <laughs> tastes, tastes like a Sierra Nevada. <laughs> there you go. Throw it down the gauntlet. All right. And then this is the Mumbai Rye. Okay. Right. Yeah, and that's one of our uh, five points, six minute six pack review beers. So I told uh, Wade he couldn't talk about it yet. We'll get to it. I think. But you'll, even then, you'll, have, really you'll only have a. No, what did I say? <laughs> oh. Speaking of five points, thanks to Five Points Fine Wine and Spirits for sponsoring, as always, Daniel Opal of Opal Designs for our sick logos, and our Patreon subscribers, Berg and Danny's mom, who heard last month that she might not be a subscriber Your mom doubled anymore, up. so she doubled up. <laughs> Sweet. Up to eight bucks a month. Oh, man. Party! What are we going to do with all that money at the end? We're going to... We're going to sit there and let it build until we can actually buy some audio equipment someday. (laughs) So if you're back on the podcast three years from now, we might have enough money back. (laughs) (laughs) No, that's sweet that Danny's mom is still giving. We do do a lot of stuff. We travel sometimes. You said (laughs) do-do. I don't remember that. Also, um, if you're listening to this this week, don't forget Tubaween is uh, Sunday, October 29th at 3 p.m. Wear a costume. What is that? Yeah, what is Tubaween? Tubaween is a uh, family-friendly uh, concert put on by the VSU Tubi Phonium Ensemble oh. that is Halloween and movie-themed. Can you oh, tell yeah. us the names of the songs yet? Or is it still I'll give you some. We're doing Harry Potter, Jurassic Park, uh, Purple People Eater, and a couple other awesome. <laughs> we have videos. We have choir. We have dancers. We have ballroom dancers. We have special effects. It's going to be pretty sick. If cool. you have kids, bring them out. 
a, someone special might be handing out candy after, but I won't say who. Mm-hmm. Leave it was a Harry- surprise. Is it Harry Potter? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I could dress like Harry Potter. I think that would just look weird. You could do um, what's that? What's that big guy that take Hagrid? Over that? Hagrid. <laughs> it's been discussed. Yeah, you can pull, that's, you can pull that's, that's, Hagrid really easy. I, if, if it tells you anything before this podcast, I was at Walmart looking at cheap men's wigs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't no, have we were, talking, we were talking about Halloween, not just. You <laughs> well, <laughs> but I, all, they, all they had was two. Mul- they had mullet wigs, so I so I didn't think that one mullet would cover my head. So I was going to get one mullet on each side. And I think that would have been the best way to create the effect. But we'll see how that turns out at Tubaween. Come on out for that. It's going to be awesome. All right. Diving into Thrasher Brewing Company. Yes. All right. Tell us about the origins of Thrasher Brewing Company. Go. Oh, man. The origins. <laughs> Honestly, the origins start back. Uh, when did you leave for South Carolina? Um, like four? Five years 2013. ago? Yeah. So 2013, this guy... Um, buys a kit, just your regular like mm-hmm. starter kit, and does nothing with it. Yep. <laughs> Sits on it. Congratulations. Someone didn't give it to you? <laughs> no, I drove to Tallahassee and bought it, <laughs> and then realized I need a, you know, six, seven gallon kettle that I didn't have. <laughs> I was like, uh, well, I'm not fucking doing this. <laughs> <laughs> So he, he sits on that for a long while. He moves. He gives it to um, someone we all mutually know, and he was like, yeah, I'm going to do something with it. And just looked at it, and that sat for another couple years. And then this guy decides to come back. And um, our mutual friend that did have it moved um, as well. And the the fourth party member that's not here right now, he held on to it and was like, yeah, maybe I'll get into it. He's really um, like this DIY country fella, so he likes to dabble and stuff like that. So John comes back from old the SC and um, he was like hey you know do we still have that do you does anybody still have that kit that I bought <laughs> a long time ago that may or may not be any good anymore <laughs> and we're like yeah we, we still got it so we oh, man it was so bad we got <laughs> we, it had we the got original like, had the original uh, <laughs> so all the ingredients are like four years old yeah right? yeah, still still had the, crisp. yeah. yeah. It still it was, had the ingredients yeah there. it was still <laughs> vacuum sealed it was perfect are you guys do you guys all live in Valdosta mm-hmm. yeah oh, sweet. so yeah. I'm sorry that you had to come back from South Carolina no it was awful <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding we love Valdosta <laughs> So we did that. We got together, and we usually, honestly, we we get together um, before even all this started once or twice a week on the weekends to so what we used to call like family dinners. Used to start off like man nights and then family dinners. So we cook for each other like every Friday. So it was one of those Fridays we got together and we we're like, well, let's let's cook this up. Like uh, I had let's a cook beer. Yeah, yeah. Basically, just kill some time. And um, that's basically how it started. So we spent, what, eight hours brewing an awful beer. <laughs> and we were like, yeah, this is pretty fun. Let's see if we can get any good at it. And, Did you guys uh, use the original ingredients? <laughs> 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 no, we used... Um, Everything but the malt, the, the syrupy malt. We, we went out and bought... Um, no, we did use the extract. It was partial extract <laughs> and then partial mash. And we used it <laughs> so bad. <laughs> what, what sort of beer was that? Uh, was it, uh, it was a ale. ale? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, um, it was, that's a beer <laughs> joke. <laughs> no, I think it was. It was like a weed ale or something. Because I was like drinking Blue Moon at the time. <laughs> and I was like, I want to make this at home. <laughs> so right. that, yeah, that, that's basically where where it all started for us. Um, we figured, why not? We're all together over the weekends already, and we usually just sit around and pick on each other and laugh and drink and, until we all get tired of each other and go home. So Let's have this podcast started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much the same exact thing. So what's, what's the goal? Oh, man, the goals. There, there's so many ideas that we bounce around with each other. Um, but the goal, the goal right now is just to sort of have fun with it. Mm-hmm. You know, just to enjoy the time doing it and then progressively not, not really have a big rush on it, but tr- trying to figure out what we think would be really good for this town and really inviting and what would be good for us in general. Like, we want to continue to still have fun with it. We don't, 
we want to get serious about it, but not too serious where it just sort of ruins the hobby. Yeah. Um, yeah. But um, brew pub, I think, is what we've all agreed on. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we really, have some food. Yeah, a family-friendly place that we serve some really, you know, not off the wall, but some unique dishes that aren't too incredibly like complex, but really just fun to eat. That you know, this town just hasn't had. We've all lived here for quite well, at least thirty. 30 plus years. Um, so y'all so. grew up here and everything? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I grew up here. Yeah, we all went to high school together. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a wildcat or a Viking? No, we're all Vikings. Okay. Yeah. Wildcats in our love. <laughs> just potato and pine cone. <laughs> potato and pine cone. <laughs> oh, that's, that's my cat. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's... that's um, so that's a good, that, that may be answers the question, but it transitions nicely into a question we would usually ask is why Valdosta? Why open in Valdosta? There's this opportunity here. Oh man, yeah, it's empty. And we love going We don't mean it as a negative question, just... You know, no, yeah, no, no, it's, it's a huge market well, available right now. Me and John were just talking about it. You go to Athens and Atlanta and, mm-hmm. you know, Tallahassee. Tallahassee and stuff like that, and between those two, there's nothing in between. Yeah, you hit um, Macon. And then, then yeah, it dies. Yeah, Tallahassee until the next one. Yeah. Micro yeah, home. You pretty much gotta go Savannah. Yeah, Gainesville, which is three hours. Tallahassee. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I guess uh, one will open in Albany this month. Yeah. Yes. You're in Omaha, south of Columbus. Family member sold them uh, boilers. Boulders? Oh, Bo- boilers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my brother. <laughs> yeah, boulders. Uh, <laughs> Are you in the uh, <laughs> rock <board> business? <laughs> I remember my older brother like bought a decorative boulder for his front yard. It was a big deal. Oh my god. <laughs> That's yeah, there probably is money in a it. decorative we boulder. Look into that. <laughs> yeah, it's like he's got a big rock in front of his house. It's like polished and says the Rollins or something like that. Oh. <laughs> it's a thing. See, Pretoria rock. Fields Collective, your family boulder. <laughs> You give me a mountain and a sharpie, I'll sell you. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> did they? Did they buy Hearst? Yeah, they, yeah, Hearst. Oh, okay. Boilers, yeah. yeah, my brother in law. Um, he's his family owns Hearst Boiler, and oh, that's pretty cool. Good for them. Yeah. And they also boilers. didn't buy what they needed because they thought they just needed a boiler. Oh, that's right. That's right. Cliff <laughs> they was telling us about they that. Didn't think they needed like all the plumbing. <laughs> all the <attachments>. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna magically sure sit there. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. they, they basically, they bought the the kettle without the burner. Yeah. I think they're already <laughs> brewing. Um, they got to be close to opening. They were talking about yeah. They were hoping for late October. Yeah, I don't know if they'll make it, but I, he told me they at least have beer going. So he but, was the, he was the place is still open and sure it's yeah. Glycol- I drove by a month and a half ago and it was not there, but it was getting closer. I mean, you could see oh, be there you could see the skeleton. Friday. But I think kind of what you guys are saying, Valdosta not only needs beer and brew pubs it needs just like places to hang out that are kind of cool and yeah, yeah. Fun. It, it really does uh, yeah the younger professional age I mean that's the huge demographic right now for craft beer like nobody you know 23 and younger it's Natty Light Bud Light Miller which we still all drink I mean it's still good beer but well, well I don't know if it's good we just drink <laughs> 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 it's affordable <laughs> but I mean yeah so the 25 and up that's what we're trying to hit there's a lot of us here you know you got professionals graduating to college and lots absolutely. of uh, culture college professors yeah I work at VSU I think so, though just nothing, even like nothing for us to go to yeah. like in Valdosta opening like a restaurant that's new mm-hmm. like it, it doesn't matter people want to go to someplace new and fun and yeah, yeah. I, mean, so it's all I think the beer will be a plus because like, around you know, here. a new pizza shop open up, I'll be there. <laughs> Damn, yeah, you beat me too. I was going to say, if it's not a pizza shop, it's someone else doing barbecue. Oh, uh, yeah. And yeah, those yeah. don't last. The Latin no, 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 not usually. Holy smokes, that was quick. Yeah, holy, <laughs> holy smokes. Holy smokes. <laughs> yeah. It was like a two month, two month run, and yeah, they crashed. It went from being a restaurant to a buffet only, and then it was too expensive, so then they changed that it was $9 all day. Oh, God. And, uh, <laughs> So I guess it didn't work. <laughs> there also, there was a, you could go, I mean, I'm not making fun of them or anything, but, but that you could go on Thursdays at five o'clock, it was like five to seven or until the keg runs out, they had free beer. What? What? So it was like, they, they did one, not advertise that. They would have well. one keg of Natty Light and if you came and got Did you have to like buy the buffet? <laughs> you had to buy the buffet oh. so you could get free beer for but, two hours. But you're a barbecue joint who has a buffet of not barbecue? 
I think it had barbecue and fried chicken. So. Uh, it had hints of barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> this, Moving um, right along. <laughs> 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 can, I, can I have something of your guys's? Yeah, sure. go for it. You want the sour? Sure. But yeah, this town this town revolves around pizza joints, Thanks. and it's You're it's welcome. amazing. But this is something that oh, we're missing. We're lacking. They're really like there's one. There was one restaurant I was mm-hmm. in high school that I really wish stayed around. It was called the the Spirit of New Orleans, mm-hmm. and man, it was it, was good. it went it went away for one reason or another. But it, well, it opened like the same year as Bistro. I think very. It was very tasty. Yeah, it was fun joint, uh, jazz music and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But you know, stuff like that um, in this town that you know, a lot of people travel. You know, um, a lot of military people. I've traveled a lot when I was younger, and it's, it's just so much culture out there that is here in town. But nobody, um, for one reason or another, lack of funds or just don't want to get into it because it's a hassle. Just hasn't really tapped into that market. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of local businesses. I mean. Uh, we haven't gotten this far into your plans yet, but a lot of local businesses are craving local beers to have on tap or yeah. package. I mean, you think about the restaurants and Red Door, saying um, jazz music, and everything at Red Door. People go to our friend Red Door Records, listen to jazz on the weekends. Um, I mean, they, they're dying for local beers. I mean, I go to Savannah a lot, Brunswick, uh, Destin, Albany, and like... In towns that have breweries like Savannah, I mean, you can't go in a restaurant that doesn't have local beer on tap. Mm-hmm. You know, when I was up in Atlanta a few weeks ago. It's what I mean, Atlanta's not Valdosta, just to be clear. <laughs> not there in podcast land, but like you couldn't find non-local beers. I mean, it was all it was all Georgia beers. I mean, they said. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, I mean, I think that's kind of where we're going. Um, you know, unless you went to bigger beer bars and then they had like right. Cantillon and mm-hmm. McKellar and stuff like that, but. Um, so tell us about this beer. This is um, your which one is that? It's the sour. sour. Which which sour? the melon is just popping off. This hop sour. The hop oh, sour. Yeah, that one's oh, man. that it's... one's a Franken beer. Because Wade said not to add hops, and I added hops. <laughs> <laughs> Take what, that. What did you want? Dealer's choice. Is that the name of the beer? <laughs> so what are you guys gonna have any particular? Um, Specialty or focus for your beers? Uh, we are really into sours right now, but we'll see how that change comes about. Yeah, we really we haven't really just we went to pale ales, yeah, and IPAs and doubles, and then we're we're a bit, yeah, browns. we're a bit wild with it. We we don't want to focus too much on one one particular beer, um, and just sort of forget about the broad spectrum of it. So, um, like right now, is it's all DNR for us. Um, and it has been for the last R and D. Oh, DNR. Some of the beers that we bring. What is DNR? If you pass out here today, you're dead. If we don't like your beers, you're gonna have to pull the plug. Some well, some of our beers, like like any brewer, has been a DNR. It's just been my. Well, a couple weeks ago, we we brewed vinegar successfully. Oh man, that was. I had like 40 brews. We actually spoiled the beer from straight stupidity. Yeah. First one. Tastes just like vinegar. Yeah, it was cherry flavored vinegar. Put it in a barrel, charge, let it sit for a year, charge $30 for it, and you've got a great beer right there. <laughs> the only time I've ever had uh, homebrew go wrong sours. I presume. Sour I was hoping cup. you were trying to make a sour. Yeah, it was supposed to be a cherry funk sour. It was our yeah, it was a, standard a, dry stout. Yeah. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I made what would have been that awesome um, toasted coconut lime berliner vice and it was just mm. B-tieric acid. Yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, I do remember that. Parmesan cheese. Mm. 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 That sounds delicious. Did you sprinkle it on it? It tastes so good. With we've had, we've had a few beers that are different sorts of cheese. We've had the mac and cheese beer. Oh, oh, taste, that was like craft brew. mac and cheese. What? There's a brewery in Jacksonville that like brewed, they brewed a goza with ocean water to get the saltiness, and the, oh, smoke, the butyric goodness. kicked in, and it, it was it smelled and tasted like exactly like a real steamy bowl of craft mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I texted the brewer. I knew the guy. I was like, dude, this is intense. And he goes, oh, people tend to either love it or hate it. I'm like, I guess people that can't taste butyric acid. <laughs> when you say people either tend to love it or hate it, you're just saying, yeah, people drink it. Because, you know, like, yes, they're either going to love it or hate yeah. it, usually. So. My first goza was the Westbrook, the plain mm-hmm. 
goes up. I mean, oh, God, that was awful. Yeah, you don't like it? I mean, that was a long time ago. Now oh. I love sours. Oh, Because <laughs> it was like yeah. drinking like, oh, like I like that beer. PBR all day, and then a friend was like, here, try this Goza. Yeah, we helped somebody move, and then that was our reward. It was this weird beer <laughs> we never, <laughs> never yeah. tried before. Isn't it? Thanks, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> It left most of the beers in the fridge. It actually, it, goes. it actually sat in the fridge for like a year before I drank it. <laughs> <laughs> that beer makes a great beer mosa. Anyone out there is wondering. Mosa. Sour beer beers. mosa. Like add orange juice? Mm-hmm. Ooh. I had it at a bar in Rome, Georgia. It's like, yeah, this is actually really Not good. a bad idea. We have uh, the Rattlers. Uh, Jekyll yeah. Raspberry Berliner Rice in the fridge. We mm-hmm. made beer mosas with that. It was super good. Mm-hmm. But so no. so you, tell me about this again. This was your hoppy Hop salad. Yeah, so we sour. did yeah, we did a Berliner Weiss, which we have on there, and then we we're like, this was easy, let's do it again. And then I was like, don't add hops. And then I added hops. And John added hops. <laughs> <laughs> citra. And yeah, we did I did citra and huel melon. And then it was like, man, that's too many IBUs for a sour. So I was like, oh, no. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be too much. So I added mango. Yeah, that's great. I love I love so- I always get confused if they're sour pale ales or hoppy sours. Is there a difference? There's one, there was a place in, in Colorado where they had two beers next to each other and they were literally like hoppy sour and the other one was sour pale ale. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy them both, whatever, you know, yeah. whatever. But, Split hairs. Yeah, so. Well, that's, that's great. Any uh, uh, future plans that you know of or is it still early stages or what are you? Um, writing the business plan. We're trying to find buildings <laughs> and understand the complex laws that Georgia has created for oh, yeah. the brewing. Could, yeah. Getting better, but they're probably still complex. Yeah, there's hoops, tape, oh, yeah. <laughs> jump. <laughs> if you, yeah. uh, you guys should talk to you if you haven't already. The Georgia Beer Company guys, they're, they're nice to us at least. I'm sure they're happy. <laughs> we actually didn't even know there was a what's it called the Brew Club. We oh, yeah. oh, the Borlock? Oh, yeah. Borlock yeah. group? Yeah. We didn't know that was existing yeah. until they... Was yeah, we sweet. did We did the Free Feel Friday, and that's sort of like... Well, that's yeah. sort of how like, all this came together. Mm-hmm. Um, we just... We had a lot of beer, and we're like, oh, you, you, we can't really do a tasting at a, at a brick-and-mortar restaurant without licensure. So, mm-hmm. you know, there's no law against giving away beer as long as you, mm-hmm. you know, to card people, friends, yeah. and, and it will come back to you. So, that's what that happened, and then Nate, Nate showed up, and... He was, he's like, hey, he's, an, he's a nice guy, you know, um, just check us out. And then he introduced the, the Vorloff and then um, y'all and Jabroom and it sort of came full circle. But yeah, we, did, we really didn't hear too much um, talk about anything until then. Yeah, I, I, I knew one existed, but I thought it was... <clears throat> Georgia Beer Company has been in planning for a long time. Vorloff started, we started Vorloff. Me and Ryan and three years, four other guys. Sour Carl, who's been on the podcast a lot. Brent, Justin, Forrest. There's five or six of us that were kind of OG. We would just go to a guy's house. Mm -hmm. And it blew up from there. Like there were times where we'd have, we'd go to this guy Gabe's house who has this really cool, um, he has like a separate bar in the backyard of his house that he built. And uh, there was times where we'd have 30, 40 people there. Jeez. Yeah, it got pretty crazy. Essentially, as oh, kind of got to Carl be Ryan a got drinking tired. club more than a home yeah. club. <laughs> that makes sense. That's fine. But it got to the point where uh, I was just tired of running everything. Mm. And once I stepped away, it fizzled. And now, uh, thanks to Nate and Chris from Georgia Beer Company and Forest, it's coming back. And they're doing more and more events. Um, but they're always on weekends, and I can never go on the weekend. Yeah. Nate. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, like, crack me in sure. I haven't been Which able one? to go to, to any go because to of the same reason. Like, they, he seems to like what, that, the one I just gave that 12 o'clock round the on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. The plain one. And um, most of the time I'm working. An S and then okay. these two guys, they could be a little shy around new people. So Yeah, so I just get drunk and embarrass myself. <laughs> <laughs> Classic, easy way to... I'm like, uh, this, hopefully uh, you aren't going to use them. It's an iPhone. They're worthless now. <laughs> <laughs> 
I play like, in a bunch of orchestras, and so I'm always gone on the weekends. Okay, cool. So just to be clear, Free Beer Friday, that's not to support your failing barbecue business. <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought we but just talked about how that's, that was so a that's, not, that's yeah. not like a regular thing. You just did it the one time or you do it well, sometimes. Well, we're, we're going to plan on doing it again. Yeah, we, we yeah, do it. I, lo- I love that idea as far as getting different styles and getting different people yeah. into it. because yeah, we have... Well, we thought we were going to do it at Salt yeah. Snapper, but then we realized we had to have that license, so we had all yeah. that extra beer. Yeah, and like Salty, Salty reached out to us a couple months ago, and I sort of feel bad because we can't, we, we keep in contact, but we can't really, we can't do anything lately yeah, in their place. When you're getting into their license, mm-hmm. I imagine yeah. it gets a little dicey. So, yeah. so we're like, and that's where the idea came from. We're like, well, we have all these beers that we're really confident about, and we really think you're good, and we want to get, um, we want to get people's opinions about it but it's hard to get an honest opinion sometimes so we were going to just judge it upon if they wanted a growler full of it and everything Mm -hmm. Um, because we like to do competitions too and we've only been able to do one and we missed out on a couple others because of deadlines that you know just trying to figure them out and um that that's really where it started in all honesty we just wanted more space in the the freezer yeah so we needed yeah. to get rid of some beers and we didn't yeah. feel like dumping it out and that's we could a, only drink so much that's a really good way to expose people to your mm-hmm. beer and i think just in general like that austin needs a little bit of help with like learning about beers yeah. like here's oh, a yeah. hoppy sour a what you know yeah people well, again not to i don't know why this keeps coming up but some a place that's been really good about that lately has been red door They've been doing those tastings. Yeah, they've been doing. I think those they have a Halloween tasting with uh, Savannah. Yeah, I saw that the other day. And uh, I walked by, and um, I mean, we did one where we mm-hmm. taught people about all the beer. And we did the first uh, one. Bill, the rep that we always talk about, what is I seen him in there in the leader. We walked by during their Oktoberfest tasting, and he was in there with leader hosen teaching everybody about all the beers. That's <laughs> awesome. I'm like going to town, so people that want to learn, there's ways to learn. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, you. Um, is there any other things in the immediate future that our audience could help you guys with? I mean, you know, we can certainly push Free Beer Friday. That sounds like a great opportunity. But are you that far along? Are you still, you know, as in building up? Start like, the like business you know, Kickstarter. Is there anything anyone can like oh. get a be- Oh, man. We didn't ask about your system. What kind of system are you all using? We have SS Brewtech equipment. Um, yeah, we like, have the kettles or mash ton. Yeah. We, we still do five gallons. Five gallons. Matches, mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're so small. Oh, I mean, yeah. It makes sense while you're trying to get recipes. Most of the time, we're still double batching in a day. We're, yeah. Like next weekend will be a double batch week. We'll do a wheat and then we'll sour that wheat with what, grapefruit or something. Uh, what's it grapefruit? No. Well, whatever fruit. No, we didn't. We decided not to do grapefruit. It was it was going to be something else. Yeah, we'll make a wheat beer and figure out what. And then make another yeah. one sour. <laughs> Oh, no, we went to a wheat regular and then a wheat sour regular. Yeah. And then figure out what sort of um, flavor combinations we want to put in it next, the following week. Mm-hmm. So. Very cool. Sort Very of. Cool. Because yeah. we've, done, we've done plenty of mangoes. We sort of want to, like, yeah. jump into the realms of citra or, um, you know, other other fruits or flavors that people yeah. really have. Yeah, something it, with color. That aren't too, have some color. Yeah, oh, like raspberry. Red. Yeah, red. Oh, we could do a raspberry. Yeah, I raspberry, raspberry wheat. wheat. That's really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I used to use uh, <coughs> picked and juiced or cut up uh, uh-huh. something that I put in a Berliner Weiss once. That all it was that same batch that was. You did pick, pickly prayer. Pick, pickly prickly prayer. Oh, <laughs> it was good. Pickly pear is like uh, this really juicy purple thing that it you was get a off canes. Yeah. yeah, we have a, a bush. And it had this a bush, <laughs> a bush in, in my yard. So <laughs> the I had the kids go out and pick some. <laughs> <laughs> the juice we went out there. Oh, it me was like this hilarious bright purple. Oh, oh it is. It is. Yeah. Stains. It's a mess to work with. And they, and they and like I love it already. They, you, I don't know. Internet told me <laughs> that you're supposed to burn off the prickles. But I don't know if that worked as well because it still <laughs> hurt. But the juice itself was really well, it worked really well, and added just maybe a little extra tartness, maybe a bit of sweetness. It wasn't. It was, it was a that huge. Same, it, was that, it was that same batch that was butyric. Yeah. I split in Ooh. three different treatments. I did. So I did orange peel and green tea, I think, Ooh. and coconut lime and the prickly pear. Yeah. 
and they were all delicious. Except if y'all need some, I can get you some. If it weren't for the gym, yeah, socks, we probably we probably will. Yeah. Like, like, I forget. Take you up on that offer. That, yeah, that I, sounds I, fun. Yeah, we can. I can. I'd even juice them for you because I wouldn't want to wish them my worst <laughs> enemy. Uh, but um. But now to go back to your last question about like what what can viewers or you know anybody in the general public help us out with right now is probably you know just follow us on Instagram and Facebook and um and just show your support there. I mean we're 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 not we don't have the capabilities of doing anything too too big at the moment other than like the free fill Fridays and mm-hmm. that's that's at um, John's joint um, whenever um, we just get around to being able. To, if all three of us are able to just be there all day mm-hmm. and um, just sort of run it and keep everything in order. It yeah. sounds like a good time to meet people and stuff like that. Absolutely. Yeah, we actually, <laughs> I really like that Berliner. It's very good. We actually met uh, quite a few people who like craft beer. Yeah, we'll go uh, anything that's sour or light. So Ooh, that's, a fine. Bar, that's a rye. Every time Ryan needs a beer, it just derails just the it. entire podcast. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. pick one way. That's the way it goes. That's the um, one sour. And so what? Sour. It's another. That's a, perfect. Like, Is that the sour? Just had. Yeah. I don't know. No, that's not the hop sour. That's the regular sour. This is yeah. This is the one I just had. Mm-hmm. Oh, let me get, let me try a different one. I don't want to drink all your. Oh no! Yeah, drink it. No. Um. So what about the rumors that uh, you got your name from a bird flying into your first boil? Was that? True? <laughs> <laughs> you that was did a, read about that online? That did you make that up? Uh, that is. Uh, <laughs> I totally made that up. Munich, Munich Hell. I totally made that. They don't put beers in their bir- birds in their. We beer. don't put beers in our birds. <laughs> <laughs> But no, uh, that was Munich. Yeah. Perfect. That's actually pretty good. That's a funny story. <laughs> if uh, that were to happen, sometimes now. I like to make up where breweries get their names. <laughs> yeah, Maybe yeah, that's like, can we keep that? that <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Where did the name come from? I really wish it was as easy as how he said it was. <laughs> <laughs> All you had to do is say, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. yeah. I, I that was know. not the best for you. We just wanted Friday. something that was Georgia related without being like Title Town Brewing. Or, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Wintersville. Like, yeah. Hills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So the Thrasher's a state bird, and sounds cool. I, I so like. I think it's a great name. It, well, it, the it other, took us a the other guys do the same thing. Georgia Brewing Company. It's not like Wildcat Brewing Company. Yeah. yeah. My it's favorite everything. state bird. My favorite type of metal music. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like you guys have brought up Tallahassee. I took it even there before. I did my doctorate at FSU, and like literally every restaurant, anything from a restaurant to a uh, vacuum store is like, you know. Uh, Seminole vacuums or yeah. spearhead carpet yeah. Come on! Like, how many spearheads and like Seminoles are there? Um, but no, it the name was the name was frustrating and fun, at least for me, um, to come up with because God, we played around with so many names oh, for a at long least time. Two, Tell two us some months. of the worst ones. Um, Go ahead, oh, just admit it. God. Well, there was more. Yeah. <laughs> M- oh, yeah. Uh, it was M- all of our last initials. Yeah, it was M- they M- spelled M- out. HR. Yeah, M O H R. So, more, more brewing was an idea. Um, they John- think that's J Moore. <laughs> <laughs> what was the one with the Indian? I can think of what we need in Valdosta. It would be the Indian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what something. we were thinking. I was like, oh, that works in so many ways. Finally, bringing more <laughs> brewing to Valdosta. <laughs> Cicada. Cicada, Cicada Brewing was one of them. That's annoying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was that was. The we premise. are full of them today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, did we did we have a tree? I don't remember. Lob Lolly. Lob Lolly. Lob Lolly was another one. Yeah. Which yeah. sounds like good. Bob on Lala? Lala? <laughs> 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 like Which was like a good. Um, it just sounded good on the the tongue. Um, but um, we well. We, we well we came across a lot of names that were already taken. <laughs> oh, thank you for looking. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm floored every time a brewery gets a cease and desist. Yeah, like, did, your, <laughs> did Google not work on your phone? <laughs> yeah. Well, so the only thing I'm afraid of now is like Thrasher skateboarding is gonna be like 
Nah. We need to get the Bruins. <laughs> we need to oh. get <laughs> pull the trigger on that. I was like, I, I think that it's such a different. I was gonna say it's such a different market. It won't matter. Yeah. But if they start brewing, yeah, yeah. Well, well, you guys get the name first. There's nothing they can do about it. Well, it's we true. we don't have it legally. <laughs> <laughs> so anyone listening out there, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> yeah, don't do it. Come on now. Don't be don't cool. Have this the be first, cool. The first brewery name I ever. Start, I was gonna open a brewery in Fernandina yeah. Beach in Jacksonville, Ooh. and uh, the first name I created a Facebook page and a Kickstarter and all this stuff. And then some other people bought the name and copyrighted it oh, and the website and everything. Jeez. And uh, solely just to screw me over. And so we just picked something else. And we ended up picking better name anyway. So it's <laughs> And the brewery never had that. Those so if you're out there, you're never. listening, Yingling. Win it. <laughs> Boston's <laughs> Fire Company. But no, it's it's it is crazy because I've I've tried to I've created a, a business somewhat um, before mm. and oh yeah, ruckus the ruckus that. it was a shirt company um, I, I had some excess cash that I got from something I didn't want to so I just wanted to get like find a way to, to spend it in a good way but that's a different story but no it's crazy how like you were saying people will come up with a name. And they think they're the first ones to think about it. Like, <laughs> they, oh man, there, there was there's ten, ten different names. Your names especially are hard. Yeah. yeah, ten different names we came up with that we were like, oh man, that's on point. Boom, taken. Yeah. yeah. And you don't even have to Google it anymore. Just go on Instagram yeah. or yeah, Facebook. Yeah, yeah. And we were finding, well, really, that's Even how if we, they weren't even legit, it's like someone already thought of it. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. Mm. That's how we found a lot know. of people to follow, really. <laughs> <laughs> where, I'm, where I'm from in Illinois, there's, there's a, been a brewery there for a long time called Bent River. And their head brewer left to create his own brewery and opened a brewery it was slightly called uh, Against the Grain. Oh. Uh, <laughs> just like a very famous brewery in yeah. Louisville. <laughs> And yes. immediately got like, he called it against, against the, grain. the grain. He was like a brewer of a brewery and decided like <laughs> for like twenty years. He's like, oh, I'm gonna start my own, and they settled on against the grain. His first and beer as was soon called as Luke I saw and Bo. like the, the social media post. I was like, dude, come on! And immediately got a, a cease and desist. Oh, with with against the grain already existing. Yeah. Okay. Louisville. Okay. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, this this isn't really like some more. rags to riches store. This yeah. Is just, <laughs> like, some jackass who didn't do yeah. <laughs> involved in the brewing industry. Well, that's what I think, think it's be like, grain, you know, also that, oh like, man, that you guess you call yourself Three Floyds or, <laughs> you know, oh, <laughs> I hear Goose <laughs> Island is available. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think Anheuser finally at least their name too. The, 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 <laughs> they forgot to pay the light bill. Yeah. yeah. Um, All right, so what was the first, ahead. yeah, what was, we got a couple more questions and we'll, we'll do our, our uh, five points, six minute six pack review with skeleton leg. With more, yeah, on that, with more on that later. Spooky. Spook. Uh, <laughs> spook. Happy Halloween. Uh, what was the beer that you say would get? We asked this to pretty much all our guests. What got you into craft beer? What beer got you either want to be a home brewer, professional brewer? Oh, and man. well, to me, that would that would be a great question for y'all too because I didn't drink that much until I met you two goons. Way um, go. That was and probably I had a job where I traveled and I was an independent contractor and we went to San Diego one time. So I got to go to Stone out there, and I had their IPA. I got a huge growler of it, and that was just like the first IPA that I loved. So, it was a great. It was a great. It's still a great beer, but I imagine oh, fresh. It was pretty awesome. Man, mm-hmm. it was amazing. Fresh. Mm-hmm. So that's like one that always. Are you supposed to drink coffee beers fresh? I like them when they're really old. <laughs> <laughs> you send them out, open. A guy I know crack it, let them go flat. A guy, <laughs> yeah. a, year. a guy I know posted on uh, Facebook the other day that they did like a. 20 year vertical of Sierra Nevada celebration, which, okay, I guess, I get it, that's cool, but that's a hoppy beer. That's an IPA. Why would I want that? Anyway, <laughs> how about you guys? Um, my sister moved to Montana and I got flown out there to help her move from Kalispell to Helena. We, there's a ton of breweries in Montana, oh my God. But we went to Whitefish, we went to Black Star Brewing there. And had a huckleberry, was it a huckleberry ale or something, wheat beer? And that was just like, pfft. It's very, it's very different having younger guests oh my God. on the podcast. It's like, I went to Montana and had a huckleberry. <laughs> Our previous guests would be like, there were no breweries in Montana. <laughs> All of our other guests are like, yeah, we had a, you know, in 1987, I had a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, I don't know who you're trying to alienate, but you're doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, what you got? Um, well, for me, like, man, I, I didn't drink a lot. My brother drank a lot. And um, I think that's that's sort of why I do it um, in the memory of him me, because um, he, he passed on. Oh, we're drinking these. Two, so. um, I think going on five years. Uh, his anniversary is coming up in a couple of days, actually. Mm. Um, so that, that's, that's what it is for me. Um, but I also, I'm an entrepreneur. I love, I love the, the Money. marketing accent. Yeah. I love, <laughs> everybody loves to live comfortably. Well, but yeah. I, li- I like to take ideas and pitch them, um, which is fun because this is the first time I've had more, um, like, like business partners to, to really bounce around ideas. But that's, that's what it was for me, but what really hooked me into it and what like what we're into now are sour beers. I, I found out that I really love sour beers. Yeah. And mm-hmm. John, they're, they're almost like a whole different. Uh, they really way. are. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh, it's so good. John yeah. introduced me to to one before we went to Proof and had their um, not Proof, but um, was it Ology. Oh no, it was it was the competition we did, and we had oh uh, the raspberry yeah, sour that, that dude made oh, so good. But now he, um, what's that beer called with the the ramen label? Oh, the what the brown the brown sour from against the grain. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. What Common it's called. canoodle or something. Yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah. So good. Yeah. He had a tall boy of that, and I sort of just hijacked it. Yeah. <laughs> I just shotgunned it to the dome. Well, it's, it seems like do it for state. It's yeah. good. Not speaking that you guys don't have any business prowess, but but it seems to have it, breweries that seem to work have some guy that is kind of good with that aspect of it and then you got the brewers too because the best brewers don't always make the best businessmen yeah Mm -hmm. that seems seems like successful brewers have a good balance i mean you know i'm sure there's guys who are great at both but like it seems to have you need to work towards your strengths i guess is what i'm saying so it's good to have kind of a a diverse range of what people can do and and are are Mm -hmm. and and that's sort of how we're set up like wade wade's the the mastermind and he really loves like diving in to the brewing yeah. aspects and yeah, I do most recipes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, and John John's the the, the numbers guy. He's don't uh, ask me to do math though. <laughs> <Don't really. laughs> Just kidding. People expect me to be good at math, and they're so disappointed. <laughs> do math. Uh, hello. I'm so sorry. No, yeah. Um, but um, Nick's more of a people person, and he yeah. he's able to talk to people that I can't. I've been stand. in the restaurant business. <laughs> yeah. I've been in the restaurant business, and I've been in retail for Welcome so long. World. <laughs> <laughs> Not you guys. <laughs> but no, it's it's fun. Like like. The, pitching the idea of doing this was um, it, I didn't have to convince them too much, but they were like, "I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to. I don't want to speak oh, thanks, it. Guys. My voice. My voice sounds weird. I oh sound yeah, awkward. I will definitely never listen to this episode because <laughs> I cannot stand the sound of my voice. <laughs> and then wait, I, I wait for, uh, and I think. Just two days ago, didn't know it was going to be on YouTube, so I sort of kept that as a secret. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> surprise! You know, you didn't tell me, so how was I supposed to know? So, <laughs> but no. people listen on on, po- on yeah, podcasts, podcasts, yeah. iTunes. Yeah. Well, you have a couple of, like some of your videos get pretty good views. Yeah, um, uh, it helps when the breweries cross promote a lot. That's why the Georgia Beer Company episode was really popular, hmm. and uh, I think that their, their episodes in Pretoria Fields, Pretoria Fields are the biggest on YouTube. What is Pretoria Fields? That's the Albany. Oh, that's Pretty the one I'm talking about. Yeah, okay. but they appeal, that pales in comparison to the podcast downloads, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher. Oh, okay. Yeah. But so. no, that's that's where it comes down, and I just love talking to folks. I really do. And Chad, the other member, is uh, he, he actually has the big boy job. He's the only one that's really successful right now. <laughs> 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 Out of all three of us, um, but yeah, he's. Whenever we do end up getting into a, a building or. Anything else structurally, he'll 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 yeah. have a big part. He's, of an, it. he's an engineer. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Sort of. He does he, work, he works <laughs> around engineers. <laughs> <laughs> when he has to go to the toilet to toilet to clean. He it. did really good with the uh, the uh, ma- uh, toothpicks and marshmallows. Yes, he did. Like, that's, that's a medium. <laughs> His spaghetti bread. That's, that's how he most weight. That's how he explained to me how electrolysis worked. It was. Two oxygen atoms. Like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think. Shall we dive uh, in? Yeah, let's do it. So it is time for our five point six pack six minute super review. So, so we did, we did a mix, go ahead and explain. We did a mix this. 
Well, what we do uh, for our guests and anybody that might be new, however many beers pop, uh, Five Points gives us, we take a minute to try and talk about each beer. And since it's almost Halloween, spooky, we're doing we spooky beers. Mix it up both to uh, help the theme and to help Five Points since they do this for us. We have three spooky beers, and then uh, three or, or more of the beers are also very new. So these are either kind of spooky or they're just new beers that just hit five points. And oh. accidentally, the box they gave me with all the beers in them had this skeleton leg in it. And a femur. I think it fell off of uh, decoration. So and then Nancy, Tom, the thanks for the skeleton leg. <laughs> <laughs> and first we have GFB, which stands right. for Green Flash Blondale, famous beer uh, brewery and timers are snap. Yep. This is one of the new ones, obviously not spooky. I guess you can make Green a spooky, flash. you can make a spooky acronym for GFB. This beer Ghost is faced Bigfoot <laughs> Brewery. Brewery. <laughs> kind of a standard standard blonde mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so far. That's what I'm getting. Pretty good. It's pretty subtle. Yeah, it's just yeah. I'm coming off that sour, so um. It's I was to, thinking the same thing. It's hard to. It's, like, <laughs> it's, yeah. like, it's a little bit melony. <laughs> <laughs> I think I drank enough sour for it to eat the way my skin and my mouth. <laughs> so my mouth is like raw right now. <laughs> it tastes well, like skin. Green Flash, famous brewery in San Diego. It's great. It's you can assume there's nothing wrong with the beer. No, I think I ready? prefer that Do over we? this Abita, which is it's in the same vein. Which I got in Publix. So screw you, Publix. Go to Five Points. Go to Five Points. For yeah, but screw Publix. <laughs> Do you own Publix or something? No, I work there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Anta Broom's opinions are not affiliated. Bosses are watching this. That was wrong. And we're listening to this. Uh, 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 so All right, next beer. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um, moving on to a brewery that has just hit town. Oh, I was going to bring them up earlier. We got off topic. A brewery that has just hit town in many forms. Ale Smith. This is their uh, San Diego Pale Ale point three nine four. I don't get. Mm-hmm. There's a there's a batter on it, so it must be a baseball thing. Someone's batting average. It's a batting guess. average. Uh, a pretty high batting average. The last time I San played, Diego, that must like be guy's uh, name Tony Gwynn or, or something. Ailsmith. Is this also San Diego? Alesmith, San Diego. I don't know. I mean, I San Diego yeah, style. Yeah, San Diego. I didn't mean to get all San Diego beers. Oh, is it? okay. Uh, what? So Alesmith just hit town. So if you go to Five Points, there's a few different beers, including one of their super famous beers, which is Speedway Stout. Their famous coffee. Yeah, I got one stout. of those in my fridge. And it cracked me up because they now are in 16 ounce cans. So if you want to dome an Imperial Stout <laughs> straight to the <laughs> shotgun, 16 ounces. <laughs> timer oh, on. Man. Oh man, that smells good. It's good. It's great. Ooh, hoppy. I feel like I'm in California. <laughs> Hoppy, but not oh, too bitter. Hey, I got it right. It was Tony Gwynn. <laughs> all the good Look at that. Like, <laughs> beer knowledge, sports knowledge coming together. Well, your prize is you can have the rest of your beer. Thanks, Danny. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, yeah that's very good. tasty pale ale. It's fresh. It, like I said, Ale Smith just hit town, so go 8, get it. 829.17. Oh, wow. That's a couple weeks. I really wish one of us was athletic oh, to see, know what that meant. <laughs> Three nine four. It's a, it's a batting average. Is it? Yeah. Oh, well, thank God. That's good. Right? Don, we played baseball like I <laughs> so long <laughs> together. My fondest memory of baseball is the stick holding the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say like getting pizza after the game. <laughs> orange slices. I, yeah. Orange slices. <laughs> we, we're in the military league, so yeah, it was all. Your participation got- trophy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that, that was not in the military. <laughs> in the free hats. <laughs> you still lost if you won. <laughs> All right. That's good beer, though. Very good. And next we have Good People Mumbai Rye. Oh, oh. these cans explode. <laughs> <laughs> there, you go first. Did the rye come from Mumbai, though? I don't know why I call that. <laughs> Normally, I bet that yeah, out. Yeah, I'm going to just go yes on this. I'm going to look it up. Straight from India to Alabama. Just open the can carefully, people. We haven't had any visits from the podcast cats. No. Oh, yeah. That was a bad pour. You're going to get any yet. Just straight. <laughs> straight net. All right, timer's on. Cop, there's something Go. Something Mumbai Rye, Good People Brewing Company. Also new one at five points. 
Good people hit town sort of recently. This is one of the newer ones. Really rye? Really sweet, too. Mm -hmm. It says uh, rye IPA. It is sweet for a rye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, way better. We didn't give a shit on point with our rye. (laughs) (laughs) You guys got a rye, too? Tell us the six. I know we're stepping into the minute. 30 seconds left. Tell us the six beers you brought. Okay, we got the hop sour, the regular sour, right? Mm -hmm. The IPA. Mm -hmm. Hellas. Hellas. Yeah, the Munich Hellas. Mm -hmm. And. Pilsner. Pilsner. We do? I bought the IPA. Where I said that. That's not that and then six, the, 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 and the rye. And the rye. Sweet. Our rye is just not as good as this, though. Yeah, this is... Come on, Wade. Well, do you get your rye from India? <laughs> right, we need to start doing that. Or do you... <laughs> Publix? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a good, yeah, good, good rye. I mean, if you like rye pale ales, it's a very... Mm-hmm. Like, usually it's either, like, it's fine or it's really bad. Oh, yeah. how bad it is. This is... In the, it's fine care. Like it's not too going. spicy rye. It's perfect. Like a little chocolate. Spicier than ours. Mm. Spicy. Spicy rye. All right. I like nice my rye beers like I like my women. This is this is. All right, we're going to spooky beers. So on to the three spooky beers. All right, I said we review this all in, in uh, Transylvania accents. <laughs> I've come to suck your hops. Never mind. <laughs> 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 First up, Stone Ghost Hammer. You can hardly even see the. Yeah, name. that is kind of a cool. I um, kind of like that. It's probably can. my most favorite IPA right There's now. There's a big long oh, really? ass story yeah. on the back about how the brewery makes noise at night. Because Stone God, likes to make sure. That would be hard to read on that can, though. <laughs> <laughs> you have to Stone take a picture, ghost picture and like, turn it into negative. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're out there and you're listening and you're having like some sort of cool Halloween party, come get these yeah, spooky beers for yeah, five points. Totally. Yeah, this is they also have like favorites. pumpkin, war, warlock. What were some of the other? Well, yeah, they have a, a whole uh, like setup right now. They have, uh, like, they wake up dead, dead, warlock, pumpkin. Like I'm all smells in the container. Mm-hmm. That smells really good. I'm so dang. Yeah, but definitely five points if you're having a Halloween party. Come oh, get some. Oh. Five points if you're having a Halloween party. Definitely come get some of these. Oh wow! I think they had it. Didn't they have? That's different. So some good. sort of werewolf beer too. Werewolf? Maybe it's Dirt Wolf. <laughs> that dirt Wolf? That makes sense. Stray Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Feral Cat Beer. <laughs> yeah, a sour beer called Whiskers. <laughs> this one, in a way, it seems more spicy than the it's Mumbai Rye. I love it. It's like dry from the hops. Maybe so. Really, like really, really deep. So they say they got a ghost at the brewery. Did you see the ghost when you went to Stone? I didn't was it hammering away? <laughs> <laughs> Moon River apparently has a ghost too in Savannah. That ghost is hammered. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if Georgia Beer Co.'s building has uh, a ghost in it. That building's fucking old. Yeah, you can see the building from the driveway. <laughs> ghost of an old. Oh, you can. Yeah, yeah, ghost. It's a blessing and a curse <laughs> yeah. once they open. <laughs> yeah, you'll be like walking distance. I great. will be walking there every day, <laughs> every week. <laughs> That's what I was say. I was say every day. That sounds horrible. <laughs> mm. All right, very good. Fine, twice a day. Jeez. <laughs> this beer's, this beer's pretty good so far. Yeah. Moving on to a uh, newer stone entry. Ooh. Vengeful Spirit. That's another good one. Ooh. <laughs> we need a special effect where one of us has a fishing wire and the beer just kind of floats across the screen. <laughs> can we do that next, next Halloween, can we make that happen? Sure. We can also uh, paint your cats black. If we're both paint. here and this podcast still exists. A year We've been now. going strong. We've been going for a year. We're over a year now. Woo woo. I've had um I've had several people like mm-hmm. recognize me and talk to me about the podcast, which is really cool. Yeah. Oh, nice! Um, we we've e- had we got emails. We got there. emails about people want to hang out, and have a, shares. And yeah, stuff. which we we want to do like a from fan. out of town, Thomasville person. Yeah. Stuff, right? So, I mean, like I said, there's probably only if anyone's listening, like the Thomasville, two guy. or three hundred people in South Georgia who like craft beer. But if we can <laughs> be, be the glue that holds them all together, <laughs> people need to know that we're not nearly as exciting as we seem. It's like, <laughs> let's all get together and have a pop share. And I was like, yeah, we just like, we're lucky if we hang out once or twice a month. This is usually how we hang and out. usually it's just me, you, and Sour Carl's bitching about life. <laughs> and, and drinking 50 sours at his pool. 
Is it is it hanging out if you don't bitch about life? <laughs> <laughs> so this ghost is pissed, this this one was pissed off. <laughs> Finish that sentence. This, this, this ghost was he was being <laughs> this spirit is pissed that the ghost hammer was so loud and so he's taking vengeance. Yeah. Quiet like down, it. ghost hammer. So good. Drop it. That's dang. That's a really different flavor. <laughs> I've come from the grave to bring you some dank beer. I tell you what wasn't good was that <laughs> stone beer I pulled out yesterday. Week. <laughs> what stone was that? That was the uh, what's it called? Woot. Woot Stout. Farkin Woot Stout. Woot Stout. Yeah. Will Wheaton. Oh, was that his beer? Oh, no wonder it was bad. <sighs> I could not. I don't. As me and barrel aged things, I don't. You like. didn't Wesley crush it. <laughs> <laughs> Oy as, as the podcast goes on, the jokes don't get any better. So enjoy these while you have them. Oh, I know. Mm. That's good. What's that one? This one is Burnt Hickory. It's a mystery, is there Burnt Hickory in it? Yes. I'm allergic to Hickory. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I've never <laughs> Burnt Hickory, one of our favorite breweries up in the Atlanta area. Kennesaw, specifically. Kennesaw. This is their new uh, driving and crying straight to hell mystery road IPA. So <laughs> driving and crying is a band. Yeah, but they, they've done straight a to hell. Of beers, I think it's a Clash song. I mean, it could be songs. a driving and crying. Burnt Hickory is an awesome brewery in Kennesaw, and they've just got new canning machine, etc. And there's fresh beer in town. This digits, etc. So get, yeah, go get it. Go get go get fresh. it right now while it's fresh. In right fact, now. the stone right now, if you're listening, turn your car away. <laughs> In the <laughs> <of> the <laughs> your kids to school. Go. Hopefully, if you're bringing your kids to school, you're not listening to this podcast. <laughs> no. Your kid I is said late. That to your like, kid no. is late. I was, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like 4 o'clock in the morning. I was, I was, I was, I don't think it's that, but you, you guys have kids. Uh, I have a really little one. Well, you well, so I was recommending podcasts to people. I was like, "Well, you have kids, though, so you're not going to want to listen to this in the car." And they're like, "Eh, our kids pretty much just like watch videos with headphones or whatever anyway, so we listen to whatever we want." It's like, "Oh, okay, choose it." Yeah, I don't, I don't know how what you do on like car rides with your kid because that just just be death metal the whole time in the car. Oh, Elias, <laughs> Elias is really good on. All right, time time. He, um, Did they just they just grow up liking it too. He just sure. sleeps. My son, yeah, my son can handle metal. Not so much my daughter. She likes Taylor Swift. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, she's getting better with time. I still like old Taylor Swift. Yeah. Wow. Don, Donovan can handle Bert Hickory would not approve of this conversation. I put on some... Um, Taylor Swift. You know the band Sleep? Yeah. I put on the long record. You know the name of mm-hmm. that record? Okay. And so... I put on that. And I, my son seemed okay with that for like the first like 20 <laughs> yeah, minutes. Yeah. And then I was like... I probably shouldn't play this for him. <laughs> <laughs> really multi. Very different compared Ooh. to the other ones. The other, the other driving crime is like eight percent, right? It's like smoked malt in that. The other uh, driving crime. Yeah, I, think I really like this one. I meant as opposed. That's to pretty the, good. The two IPAs we just had were much different as well. Oh yeah, way too. We had the last four beers we had were all IPAs. And stuff. Mm-hmm. Got to get cool. a Wait, this isn't a label. Beer. Mystery rip, straight to hell. Mystery well, it's rip. only five, five and a half percent. Um, but they label it. That, okay, this is a trend that I'm seeing with Georgia breweries. <laughs> is Because uh, there's another one. I picked up not too long ago. It's a key lime goes there or something. But they don't get the can printed. They have, and they don't use a they plastic have the generic shrink wrap. They just put the sticker on sticker. it. Oh my God, I love that. It's yeah, so it's smart. Easy. Yeah, I mean, it's stupid easy. And it seems cheaper than getting them printed. Oh, I'm sure. Because you can just cheaper. get you just yeah. get a double angles. We and saw then have, one the other day. That we thought was really smart. With that, you guys ever had SP- it was SPB Southern Prohibition Brewing? It was like uh, uh, Hattiesburg. So what they do is they have it's pretty pretty clever. They have one generic can yes. that says like yeah specialty series, and then they just put one tiny sticker around it. That's what I was telling you. That's the that dry hop like one. Dry hopped yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I was like, what? That's it, crazy. Because I was like sliding the cane in and out of the koozie, and I was like, why is this catching on something? Well, because it's, it's. And then really there's that little sticker, yeah, and sticker. I was like, what? I peeled it off, and I was like, what the hell? It's crazy because <laughs> what that means is you can put an order with Paul and whoever of a trillion pallets of cans yeah. and get a great deal. 
and then just put that extra little sticker on there. And yeah. Then you can brew an IPA, and then after a few months, just make it into a pale ale. And then you can go store to store with new labels. Yeah. <laughs> Dry hop and Berliner Weiss becomes Berliner Weiss after two months. <laughs> I kind of was expecting there'd be a, like a typo underneath the sticker, <laughs> where they were just like, put a sticker on it. All right. Real quick, if you were on to five points today, which one of these six would you pick up? What was your favorite? Oh, man, what was the second one? What was the second yeah. one? This last one was really Green. Good. Green class was first. Class second first one was, was that Smith. 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 394. I really like that one. That was that great. Is good. good. Yeah. I've crushed a couple of those. I mean, I didn't drink any of them before today. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Five Points yesterday, and I bought a six-pack of the Vengeful Spirit, and I drank it in like half an hour. Ooh, anyone mm-hmm. listening, it's on tap at Blue Cafe right now. If you want is it really? Fresh Vengeful Spirit on tap. Oh, at least it was good. on tap on when I was there on Friday. Oh, that house is moving up. Mm-hmm. Blue Cafe and Blue Pub, they try. Now that Craft on Draft is closed, RIP, uh, Blue Cafe is um. trying. And if they're not, I yell at them every time I go in, which is a lot. I was in there when Katie and I went, Katie's my wife, when we went in there on Friday, I did not know a single employee, which blew my mind. That yeah, usually never know. happens. So they didn't hook you up or anything? They're like, welcome. I'm like, who the hell are you? Oh, <laughs> I know. Welcome to Where's my people? <laughs> <Welcome. laughs> you know what's the worst is, like I said, I teach at VSU and there's a mo in the, mo's in the union. Oh, really? And when you just, like, if you're just going to get a soda, or you're going to Chick-fil-A, or you're going to Starbucks, you walk, you walk in that side door, and they all go, welcome to Moe's. I'm, like, I'm not here for you. <laughs> <laughs> Your food sucks. I'm literally just walking yeah. through the building. Go to burritos instead. Um, I love burritos. Yes. Burritos. Wow, we got We've all been all hearing about Chipotle's. Someone about Asta. Really? Chipotle? Right here. Where? The burritos. I don't know. I just oh. pret- I pretend somebody <laughs> tell me that. You know, I I was driving over here at the old music store that ben was Owens? by the ben Sonics. Owens. Oh no. Oh uh, yeah, Ben Owens. Uh, uh, no 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 no. no. Rutland's. Rutland. Yeah. <laughs> Someone just bought that and they're they're doing something to it. Brewery. It looks like a restaurant. <laughs> like the well, that it's whole too bank, <laughs> bank church or, or, oh, or God. pizza shop. Don't get me started. A, we were church, just talking about a, that. Oh, it's a combination God. of all three. Is hey, you have all your needs in one place. <laughs> Tides and offerings. Tides <laughs> <laughs> into the bank. <laughs> and in exchange for food. Stone baked Tides and offerings. There, there we go. go. All right. Have you guys favorite, tried favorite of the six? <laughs> Did you have a favorite? Uh, the last one. What was it? Driving, driving and crying. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was yeah. straight yeah. to hell. This is a, all. All six of these were really good. This they time. always are. <laughs> Thank God. Yes, they always are. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now it's time for Cast Be Another, where we, where we ask, Cast dumb beer questions Ooh, to smart beer people. Oh, they right. don't oh, have any of those right now. <laughs> or the closest proximity we're we can find. We're on the right podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we're going to ask silly questions to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We actually like kind of rehearsed this a little bit yesterday. <laughs> because we listened to one episode and it was like the... The subway, the subway, was, the, like what what sub could make a beer or something. It was like what you, a sandwich. Yeah, it was, yeah well, you guys like. It, what well, was your somebody, answer? Somebody asked me, "What should we? Whoever does the Instagram was like, what should oh. we? What should we be ready for?" And I'm like, you "Oh yeah, probably just listen to the. If you haven't of listened, then you don't know. Yeah. Like, that, that's what are these people talking yeah. about? Any social media is probably usually me. Yeah. All right. And any misspelling. Also, we dropped the ball on our. Any misspellings of words is John. There, I tried to get it. We're, we're off our game. Okay. A- anybody can answer. All three of you can answer whatever you want to do. All right. Time. What type of sandwich would you make it? No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Highest place other than an airplane where you have imbibed a craft beer? What's the highest elevation you drank at? Oh, Ooh, what man. were you drinking? Uh, I went to Korea. Just uh, visit Kim Jong Un. <laughs> visit my cousin <laughs> in the DMZ line. <laughs> we shook hands. We waved across from the fence. <laughs> yeah, right. Anybody that's listening and not watching, <laughs> made several jokes referencing the fact that he is or uh, of some sort of Asian descent. I'm some sort. <laughs> <laughs> I eat Chinese food on Friday every day. <laughs> uh, but no. Um, I'm I'm Korean, half Korean. He's a, he's a Shaolin monk. Shao, yeah, <laughs> the fattest Shaolin monk, <laughs> <laughs> the most unlimber Shaolin monk. 
<laughs> I am most at peace with a local pizza place. My famous martial art move is my like, sitting rock. <laughs> yeah, you do that sitting Asian Bump thing on so rock. good. <laughs> Decorative boulder. Yeah, he, that's what it does. It's like a thing. It's like Asian food to bowl. Like <laughs> the squat. Yeah. yeah, the Asian squat. Yeah. You no, do. um, I went to like I went to student. Korea with my mom um, a couple of years ago, and uh, they have they have a pretty um, famous building that's just beer. like beer. so many towers. I God, man, I Put think it's. One two. I forget the name of the building, but we were we were sixty four flights up. Sixty four. Sixty four or something like that. We're we're in the restaurant, in the top of it, and um, I don't know if I've ever been in the building. I had a beer up there. Very good. You know, right. you mentioned Please a, uh, do not ask me what beer because I can barely communicate with my relatives. <laughs> you mentioned a uh, plane. I did drink on the plane. <laughs> oh, that's always. Fun. I said you couldn't use a plane though. Well, that's like, everybody's high. They didn't have. I didn't get conceivably right whiskey. Mm-hmm. It's also it's expensive. That the best bang for your buck is to just get liquor. Is it really? Yeah. Per, per, like, per volume. I think on Delta it was like six oh, bucks for a beer or eight dollars for liquor. Oh, yeah, they'll, and they'll the get you only on beers they had were like Bud and Miller Light. So mm. I'm like, uh, God, it's like going to a baseball game. Jesus. All right, we gotta keep going. We got. Oh, um, you guys got any high altitude? Drink source. This is probably Montana and Helena. Um, I'm from Illinois. Probably here is the highest. I, <laughs> I don't I mean. Nobody like, made the obvious joke yet. <laughs> I mean, I have been high and then I have drank. <laughs> <laughs> was that the joke? Well, one time I was with these purple unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recommend drinking or doing marijuana. It's illegal. There you go. Drinking is not illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. If you are. 20. All right, we're gonna move right along. Pass. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Can I find a friend? Halloween. Okay. We need the Halloween candy that should be made into a beer, and the Halloween candy that should not be made into a beer. Oh man, Halloween candy that should be candy. Made into well, a beer. Yeah. do not make candy, candy corn. corn. Do, do not, not make candy corn. God, no, please. this comes up. I think you asked the same question last year. Oh, but shock tarts. Make a shock tarts beer. I love Ooh. candy corn. And I don't appreciate your <laughs> <laughs> Or uh, what other Halloween candy we, sucks? Notice I'm not saying pumpkins. Oh, those are bad. Oh, oh. Can, no, notice this I'm not saying if, but when we do an anti-brewing collab, we're doing a fucking candy corn stout, and you're gonna deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> a barrel aged candy no. corn stout. No. <laughs> <laughs> put it in like a white wine barrel do or something. If we put it in do not put 750 it in. and put 35 minutes. What, what on is it. the taste of candy corn? Sugar. It's hey, not vanilla. corn, and it's not vanilla. It's quite candy. Sugary vanilla. <laughs> Depression. <laughs> it's vanilla cream, man. Self-loathing. Don't it's that moment when you, you find it in July under your couch and like, I know I shouldn't do this, but there's nobody <laughs> here. I'm nobody weird. would ever know. <laughs> I'm that weird guy that'll buy the dollar bag of candy for corn from the gas station in July. <laughs> Does it have to be around there? But Brock's makes the best, and that's only available during Halloween. Brock's. You heard it here first. <laughs> Hashtag Brock. So Let's see if we can get a new. That's sponsor. how you'll know. <laughs> yeah, that's how you'll know that the Thrasher Anta Broom Candy Corn Imperial Style will be fresh because we'll use Brock's candy corn in season. We'll be right <laughs> in while season. it's coming in fresh. <laughs> <laughs> right back the candy corn. If you're tree. drinking candy corn stouts in July, that's bullshit candy corn. <laughs> we'll find the bag that doesn't have the sticker with a new year. You know, like the other beer. All right, what beer? What beer do we need? We're not getting anywhere with this. What beer do we need? Uh, <laughs> what beer should be uh, made out of all? What Halloween candy should be made into beer? He said shock tarts. Oh, yeah, yeah shock tarts. Shock, yeah, yeah, shock tarts. Shock tarts. Shock tarts. Shock tarts. Yeah, I think that would be pretty on point. I don't know what candy you would make into beer, though. Uh, that We've one, had Butterfinger. Wilderness has that really famous, maybe not really famous, but had a really highly related, rated uh, Snickers beer. Oh, Butterfinger beer that's really good. Yeah. It's like a chocolate oh, peanut we, butter. We, we had the cheating. peanut butter. Uh, the, oh, yeah. Uh, that apples. dude. Yeah, that dude. Well, a million peanut, peanut butter. Made chocolate peanut dude, caramel apple. No, this was just peanut butter. Just make a bad sour <laughs> cider. <laughs> just make I'm about to say, we, we made a bad sour before. <laughs> <laughs> make a, it didn't taste uh, like any product. Yeah, yeah, if you make a. Uh, like a you could have used it to like dress Do a crappy lager with a ton of acetylhyde and some. Caramel malts. Butterscotch. <laughs> You'd have a caramel apple lager. Oh, there you go. Come on. <laughs> All right. Uh, worst, worst possible beer-related Halloween costume. 
beer related Halloween costume? Worst beer. Oh, there was that one I saw the other day. It was uh, <laughs> a guy made himself into Buzz Lightyear, but it was all 90 light boxes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good answer. That's a very good answer. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear? Yeah. Oh, Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Damn. Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> I, just, I don't know if it was captioned that, but <laughs> it probably was. This was a trick question because nothing could be worse than Jay Rice and the Dreidel. You put it in the notes. Drindle. <laughs> Drindle. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Wait, did I put it or did you? What is You that? put it. Oh. J. Rice and a Drindle. Drindle. What is that? Jesus. I know what a Drindle is. <laughs> what is a Drindle? That's the worst the, possible uh, Christmas German, theme. The German beer beer thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those are cool. So last episode we asked the, that, that, so between, <laughs> between Chris and J. Rice, one of you has to wear Lederos and one of you has to wear a Drindle. Just and Jay Rice nice. took the bullet and said, I have a bigger bust. <laughs> <laughs> Which really, the whole point of that show was to get him to say that. We just kind of worked to that point. Okay. <laughs> Beer you would most likely drink if you were staying in a haunted house. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, that product placement. In front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost hammer. The show. Ghost hammer. Ghost hammer. Straight to hell. Something you buy at five points. All right. <laughs> we didn't um, mean it that way. I was joking. We just happen to have a bunch of spooky beers. Yeah. I don't know. A good rye beer. Like something heavy, I think. A little spicy. Yeah. Whatever should make you pass out and forget about it. I'll wake you up at three in the morning and run to the bathroom. I'd probably go with a barrel aged candy corn stout. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Best place in Valdosta to enjoy a cold beer. Oh, mm. John's house. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Very good. All right, last one. We <laughs> like trying to promote That's a the, business. <laughs> every every bird we have does it. Oh. <laughs> but for real, though, any oh, man. places? Mm. I, like going, I like going to the pub. Yeah. Or well, um, we have still Tom my guests, we always ask them, what do you like in Thomasville? What do you like in St. Mary's? What do you like in whatever? We already told, talked all about Valdosta, but it is interesting to hear what you guys like. You've lived here. I've only lived here three or four years. So. Oh, okay. God, I've been here for too long. 20 I don't want to admit it. Yeah. What do you like, though? Where, where, do you, where do you like to get good craft beer? The, I mean, the pub has a good... They always have a good yeah, selection of those the going there. Yeah, the cafe. Um... And I, I like the pub because they do like very like they venture off and mm-hmm. you know they carry yeah. certain things. It's just I don't like waiting forty five minutes to be recognized. <laughs> That's why you like me. You got to go there enough that they all know. Yeah, and then it's piece of cake. But uh, yeah, also I, I guess... sold a shelf on Craigslist to the manager there. And oh, nice. Now she knows who I am, so that helps. Is that still? Um... God, what is her name? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The cricket is perfect right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what on earth? Dead the one air. time. In the Why is there a cricket right now? <laughs> so thank at you, four cricket. o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I guess. I guess Megan anywhere right name. now and in, in, in this point in time is like downtown, like the blue yeah. park and the blue. You just hop around downtown. Now. Red Door Records, yeah. Steel Magnolia. Yes. Yeah. Well, I haven't, I haven't been to Red Door. Um, yeah, I've eaten lunch there. at Magnolia, which is amazing. They actually had a um, Oma Gang beer, which was like, what? Yeah. Like, Oma Gang beer? Like, the the reps give the good restaurants good stuff. Like, yeah. Friends, friends, Woodstacks, Salty Snapper. Yeah. Unfortunately, if, I mean, if you're not on the side of town, there's really no other place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, because I don't, I don't like eating at commercialized restaurants. Um, oh, that's yeah. why, that's why I like, holy smokes, I was sort of uh, slightly hopeful for it until I, I went there and then I was like, yeah, you know, in three months it will be gone. Like, <laughs> uh, Woodstacks is owned by the people that own Friends. Woodstacks has good beer too. Yeah, that, that guy's like, like Friends who does it? Woodstacks, yeah. they, they always have good beer. He's mm-hmm. running train on food right now. Yeah, I mean, if yeah. you're going to go to Applebee's or Cheddar or whatever. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to have to there, dude. Yeah. Straight from Michelob Ultra. I will never go to Applebee's. <laughs> I'll just eat food off of the You gotta wait for that, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Wade, you, you gotta... Wade has this thing against Michelob Ultra. Well, I mean, I have it too. I hate Michelob Ultra. It's well, it's because girliest... every time I tell someone about like what we're doing, we're brewing and stuff, they're like, what kind of beers do you brew? And I'll kind of give a brief summary, and then I ask them, well, what do you like? And they're like, Michelob Ultra. Every, uh, every I got a solution for you. Time. Here's what you do: be like every single time. Yeah, it's a dry hop sour ultra. <laughs> <laughs> and just say ultra after everything. Dry pale ultra. 
<laughs> oh, that sounds good. It Perfect. comes up. It's like a Michelob IPA. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it comes up like every podcast, you know, and when you guys get into your brewing, you can either embrace or say screw on. But like a lot of guests we've had that in current or future South Georgia breweries are like, whether you want to or not, if you want to have business, you're going to have to have like a blonde ale or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. For yeah, sure. yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. what everybody's used people. to mm-hmm. in the area. Gateway. You need, yeah, a, lawn, you get, you you need gotta, a lawnmower beer. Yeah. <laughs> you need a lawnmower. Yeah. You definitely got to play to... It's Halloween when you need a lawnmower man. That's kind of where I think <laughs> sour, sour beers are going. Is like, it's like, you know, a lot of these college girls probably, you know, don't drink craft beer, so... You tell them sour beer, and they're like, oh my god, it's sour. It sounds gross. But then they taste it, and they're like, it's like Sprite. I was at uh, before they before they closed. R.I.P. Craft on Draft, and there was like a group of six sorority girls. Wow! And they were drinking like a a raspberry sour or something. They had on tap, and she's like, "Oh my god, this isn't even beer." (laughs) (laughs) No, she's like, one of the girls was openly like, "Why are we even here? I don't like beer." (laughs) The other girl was like, "Try this," and she's like, "Well, this isn't beer." And then the other girl's like, but it is beer. <laughs> and whoever was working, like, it is, it is beer. It just, it's raspberry and sour. It's yeah, really yeah. So that, that's where I hope that we can move into is try to convince yeah. people to drink craft beer. Yes. Absolutely. That's why we have this podcast. All right. Spread Bird, you would most like and least like to see circling above you while you're drinking a beer. Thrasher. Thrasher. <laughs> I would do not want to see a thrasher. Wait, no, no. So that's you... the one he would most like to see. The one I most like to see? Oh. Um, I want a uh, bald eagle for freedom. <laughs> freedom. <laughs> freedom bird. I want to see a blue footed booby. A blue footed booby? <laughs> yeah. You're not going to go through in Australia or something. <laughs> yeah. I would not want to see like a pigeon. Yeah. From New York or something. God. Shit on you. A pigeon anywhere. <laughs> what is wrong with y'all? I would not want to see a vulture. That's oh, what I was thinking, okay. yeah. I've had plenty of vultures circle over me. <laughs> it's true. That they just means your beer me. smells really good. If a good. vulture's circling over me, I'm dead. <laughs> no, they're just waiting. That must be good. <laughs> <laughs> waiting to die. <laughs> that must have been a damn good beer. All right, we're going to do this super fast. Beer associations. So in beer associations, you he's going to say a person, place, or thing, Ooh. and then you just rattle off a beer, a brewery, Something that you would associate with that thing. Oh, God. okay. You two are gonna be. Don't think too hard about it. It could be something they would. I don't worry. Or something never makes you think of it. I never think too hard. All right, here we no go. No problem, bro. These are dumb this week. All right, <laughs> blood sucking bro and fanged phenom Count Dracula. With this beer related things. Okay, so uh, chocolate malt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like Dracula. Yeah. 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 Just for us, it's like the cereal. Right there. Right there. Right, so it's like you list the thing and I tell the beer related thing. Yes, okay. yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate malt usually isn't like a beer. Dude, chocolate let's malt. Make a, let's make a chocolate choc- all chocolate malt IPA. Any chocolate malt IPA. beer. <laughs> all chocolate malt IPA. <laughs> 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 oh, that sounds yeah. awful. He skips, yeah. he skips the whole process. Let's really. do a 100% specialty grade beer. Right. Let's, let's make, a oh. Anybody else? <laughs> make a Hershey's kiss. Make a Hershey kiss that was dropped on long clippings. <laughs> I would have went with like a blood orange IPA or something myself. But. There we go. We won gold with that. Yeah, we actually won gold on that. <laughs> yeah. Same recipe. Yeah. Right. I have them in my pocket. Yeah. All right. Deep voice Dark Knight Batman and his diminutive Dinkus Robin. Guinness. Hold on. Hold on. Guinness. You changed no. it. I did change it. <laughs> Don't say what I changed we'll it. I'll tell you off camera what he actually wrote down. What did it repeat it? Batman and Robin. Batman, Batman and Robin. Robin. Batman. What are they drinking? What were they drinking? Oh, they're probably drinking like a watermelon goza. You said that like throwing shade hard. I hate watermelon and I hate gozas. You no, I hate well, Batman. No, and I don't Robin's hate goza. Cool. I don't like watermelon. I orphan strength. What do orphans drink? <laughs> he's drinking boiled soup and he's like Hot porridge. Not out of the second bowl. Some <laughs> what a oh, Again, we're on the same page. Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> what do orphans drink? What do they drink? We gotta figure this out before we move on. Do you orphan? <laughs> when was the last time you orphaned? <laughs> We're gonna, I don't know what that means, so let's go on to the let's next go, one. Let's go right on to the next one. <laughs> Stupid. Wide-lipped water whopper and Georgia State fish, the largemouth bass. 
What? Oh man, a key lime beer. What's a key lime beer? What? What? What's the brewery? Dude, I'm just build that has Swamp Head. The what is it? Oh, they do have one called oh. Swamp Knocker or something like yeah. that. Is yeah. That, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good Stump, answer. Stump yeah. Knocker. Oh, yeah, Stump, 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 Stump Knocker. Stump Knocker. That's Swamp oh, Knocker. Dude, that's <laughs> Swamp Head <laughs> brewery. Stump uh, Stump Knocker is actually really good. Well, I went, I went to Bonefish Grill with Dad, and they had it on tap. And oh man, it tasted a lot better. Was there a bone in your fish? It t- well, the beer tasted a lot better than the I fish. I thought you said you don't go to commercial <laughs> restaurants. It, well, yeah, I, I come don't, on, Nick. Unless hypocrite. my father does. Oh, okay. Well, that makes he's, sense. He's a cut and cut retired military guy, so there you don't go. venture too far <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> you just stick with the bone fish. All right. Belgian blood sport badass Jean Claude Van Damme. What's he drinking? What does Putin drink? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's a different country. Baltica. Vodka. No, they're like best friends. Oh, oh are they? Yeah, they they're like hang out all the time. And really? Like, yeah, Jean Claude Van Damme and Putin are like hand in hand. One and one. They, what do they Go do? ahead and like, Google like that. Like <laughs> yeah, Putin's playing cornhole. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. At the salty Jean Claude. I would think a really hoppy beer for Jean Claude. Like a saison, because it'll punch you in the face. Yeah, yeah. and a really like. <laughs> A really what? Um, I need another beer. What's the word I'm thinking of? Um, beer man. Right? Yes. A really. You just happen to be by the cooler, I think. I know. Don't take it personally. Socialist. What's a, a really a, socialist beer? A <laughs> really know? socialist beer? Yeah, a one-minded a thing. Heineken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Marshall Zukov and Prost. I did have this. This is the first beer I had. There you go. All right, next one. Hell's idiosyncratic <laughs> illuminating inventor Thomas Edison. That's Tommy. Tommy. Tommy E. What's he, he turns What's on he a light drinking? bulb? Thomas Edison. He's probably drinking a good lager, dude. From oh, I'd love to live back in the day with him. Beer back then was uh, super We were just good. talking about that. Yeah, we watched just, we watched a horror movie last night. Fun um, fact about John: He wants to live with Thomas Edison. Hell yeah! There you go. All right. I think John just wants to drink beer and liquor from that time. It was probably really good. Whenever they do those things where they find those old recipes, though. Oh yeah. Awesome. They're not good. Never. <laughs> oh yeah, we looked at trying to find like a, like the original like what Founding an IPA should have been from like you know from was it shipping stuff from India to Britain or whatever it was called back then. Are they really not good? That's disappointing. It just depends. Like uh, when you look up like one of the popular ones you find at breweries in the south is like. Uh, George Washington's original beer recipe, and it's like you mix molasses with <laughs> rye and honey and ferment it, and they all just end up tasting like pennies. Yeah, pennies. <laughs> it's a mouthful of oh. Tastes like the coffee. Tastes like they... pennies with a little hint of freedom. Is that why they put them on the penny? Yeah, that's what beer. Oh, that's shit. Look <laughs> 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 we'll at that part out. <laughs> cut that out with my drink. Real, real quick, say. George Washington, and then they'll put it over. George Washington. <laughs> Just kidding, we don't edit this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. Whoops. laughs> All right, and that brings us to, thank goodness, craft dad, craft beer dad joke of the Ooh, month. month. Let's hear it. We keep saying week. You said earlier. Every week. I feel like it was just month. last week when we did craft this. Beer, I dad also, joke of the month. Craft beer dad joke. Craft beer dad joke. I don't have a beer in front of me, though. If I'm going to tell a joke, I need. Can you grab my beer? Sorry. What you want? <laughs> what have I not had? Pilsner or IPA? No, or IPA. Like IPA. IPA. How do you like DMS? Do you like Your DMS? Pilsner do you like DMS? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not, it's I can handle right. DMS more than I can handle diacetyl. All right. I'm really sensitive. <laughs> what did I put for my joke? Oh, orange head. Okay, so craft beer dad joke of the month. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, see that smooth he's, he's about to show me a new trick with a bottle opener. So for anyone listening, Ryan just tried to open the. Uh, right, okay, we don't need to tell people everything. There you go. Ryan just tried to open the bottle with the wrong side of the bottle opener, and I found the right one. With the um, I still have lazily not messaged a br- uh, uh, bar is not sponsoring. Okay, joke. I'll tell you anyways. All right, so there's this guy, and half of his head is an orange, and he mm. walks into a bar. Okay. <laughs> so he goes up to the bartender and he orders, uh, this is in the future, he orders a delicious uh, Thrasher Ooh, yeah. beer. Perfect. And he's sitting there drinking it. And um, the bartender's like, are, are you okay? Do you, do you know that, you know, half your head's in a arch? 
He said, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a, kind of a funny story. He says, okay. I, a while ago, I was walking on the beach, and uh, I, I, I tripped on something. And I, it, was a, it was a lamp. You know, like one of those old lamps. So sure enough, I rubbed it, because that's what you're supposed to do with lamps, and a genie popped out. And he said, I will grant you three wishes. The bartender's like, that's, that's crazy. It's like, no, no, totally true, totally true. So he said, well, what'd you wish for? Well, the first thing I wish for is a wallet that whenever I pull out a bill, another bill magically pops in there. Hmm. Like, what? So he pulls out his wallet. It's a special looking wallet. He opens it up. He sees that there's a $100 bill in there. <clears throat> he takes the $100 bill, gives it to the bartender, opens the wallet back up. Sure enough, there's another $100 bill in there. It's sick. The bartender's like, wow, that's amazing. That's a good wish. Yeah. And so the bartender's like, well, you know, what, what was next? And uh, the guy goes, oh, oh. So, well, I asked for the special glass and that whenever I finish it, it will fill up with whatever I want. He's like, what? Yeah. And he pulls out this glass from his bag, puts it down. He, he finishes his Thrasher beer. He says, I'd like another Thrasher, please. And sure enough, this glass fills up with Thrasher. Ooh, perfect. Chugs it too. down. Says, I'd like another Thrasher. Fills up with Thrasher. Drinks oh. it again. Puts it down. Says, I would like um, some Chardonnay. Fills up with wine. And the bartender's like, that is straight amazing. That is awesome. He's like, yeah, that is. <laughs> the bartender's like, what, what, what was your third wish? What was your third wish? And I go, oh, I wish the half of my head was an orange. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> wow. That's been your uh, craft beer dad joke of the month. Brought to you by Cousins. Antebroom. You should cousins. Cousins. Yeah, you go to Cousins. That's, that's Cousins. They'll do You've it. Got, that would cost. Awesome. <laughs> Our first move here, we were Googling where the best wing places were. Cousins does have Cousins came up. Yeah. And so we went there and I ordered wings and my wife ordered a cheeseburger. Oh. And she takes a bite and she's like, There was a cigarette button. This is really good, but <laughs> this cheeseburger is literally a million degrees. And <laughs> my mouth is now ruined. I'm covered in. Burns. Tastes like the surface of the sun. And, and, then, and, then, and then y'all left smelling like cigarettes. She like took a couple more bites, and then like this two toothed owner guy cooked. Two toothed. <laughs> oh, I know exactly. Where I, I know that that is. Is. We're never gonna get a sponsor from them now. But he goes, How do y'all like the burger? And she's like, it's, it was really good. It was really very hot. It was very interesting. And he goes, Well, we used to cook our burgers on a flat top, but that was too much work. <laughs> Keeping fresh beef around, so now we buy He did not burger. say that. There's no way. It's too like much that. work keeping fresh. <laughs> I'm not joking. I can, I can, oh, yeah, I, can see him, I can see him saying it. He goes, so I can now, picture this guy right now. He's like, we didn't sell a lot of burgers. It was hard keeping fresh beef around. A lot of work cooking them on the flat top. Now we just buy frozen burger patties and drop them in the deep fryer. Oh God. Oh. No. <laughs> she's like, Jesus. oh, that makes sense of why I took a bite and a bubble of hot oil. Oh. <laughs> Your wings are great. So yeah, yeah they got pretty good wings. Yeah, they just cousins, drop, if, you're if you order burgers and wings, they just drop them together. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it simple. It's it's like bur- burger flavored wings. Isn't that All how right. Hooters cooks their wing, uh, burgers? Though? Do I, I don't know. I hope not. I've sounds, never eaten sounds like something Hooters would do. Uh, yeah. Hooters in this town has never attracted me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time had a student tell me she worked there. Well, nice. never going to that Hooters ever again. Uh, <laughs> well, not I, so not nice. again. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I said that I've never been to the Hooters in Belbasta. I've lived, I've lived here forever and never been there. Don't want to go. I used to have Sorry, an NFL Sunday ticket, so yeah, I, used to, I used to go. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Is there other boobies? Go sports ball. Yeah. Well, go sports ball. Where the boobies are small. <laughs> okay. It's All right. What about, what about a news section to this? podcast a news section yeah <laughs> news. tell us the news no no not a news <laughs> we'll, we'll do a news section oh yeah which is tell us about our beers oh we're not even at my house so you guys can't we gotta like awkwardly leave here <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we were just kind of going so fast well, we'll, we can awkwardly leave well here. We, talk, we talked about the, the hot cup sour which i think is a great one and a great style to that, to yeah. introduce to people we'll, we'll talk about the beers off camera <laughs> <laughs> oh, they taste um, awful 
What am I drinking right now, by the way? Green yeah. corn. Yeah, it tastes <laughs> I like think it. I, I the actually think the was. hopping helped to the Berliner a little bit. Were they different batches or were they the same batch? No, that was uh, one sour was the first sour we did with the. We're actually using a sous vide um, to keep it warm, keep the culture going, let the pH drop. So that was the first kind one. Kind of sour. Mm hmm. Because we don't, I mean, we don't have an electric system, and I'm not running propane in yeah, the garage for it. No, when I have kettle sour beers, I have to like wrap it in a firm wrap yeah. and a blanket, mm -hmm. a heated blanket, and lock it in a room with a heater on. Well, we had a heated blanket, but like ours had a safety mechanism because to not burn who you. Wants, <laughs> yeah, who wants to be safe? So the house doesn't burn down. Yeah, yeah. Like, you gotta find are, one of those old school blankets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the one back. I really the, enjoyed pretty the 1995. Mm -hmm. The rye is really nice, but like, yeah, we um, John John found the sous vide thing, which was a brilliant idea. And yeah, because yeah, I mean, chopping a grain in an electric brew kettle system is a feat of its own when you're already propane. I used to kettle sour by. Uh, do you guys buy a culture? Uh, we're actually using something you can buy at the grocery store to make sours. Oh, really? Yeah. See, I used to do it real old school by just dropping in raw grain. And then we, I had a couple yeah. batches turn out real shitty. <laughs> yeah, that was our fear. Stop and then doing one of the, uh, it's a company that makes like probiotics. Oh, has yeah. a. Did you guys say something about that on social media? I yeah, like we, I, we yeah. did. I did post. Did we? we? Yeah, we posted okay. the uh, Good Belly. They actually oh, have yeah, a beer yeah, recipe yeah, on their website. website. The good oh, belly. oh, that's cool. That's yeah, cool. And I just bought, lately I've been using the Omega Labs blend, which has been super good. Super yeah, we good. haven't. We've done. We did one where we ordered straight. Like that oh or yeah, two? that was the bread. That was the bread that turned into vinegar. Um, that came from. No, I'm just talking about the vial we had of just like now. Oh yeah, that one did not sour at all. I still think my batches that went bad were just oxygen oxygen exposure. I wasn't careful enough about blanketing, etc. That's how we ruined the cherry bread. Was yeah. we dumped yeah. ten two pounds of O2 in it. Yeah, <laughs> we had just got a new oxygen <laughs> wand, and I was like, it stressed it, and then it lagged, and then we let it sit for four weeks, and I tasted it through a little like micro dropper, and I was like, oh, it's sour. It's gonna be good. We get it kegged, and then it looks like <laughs> vinegar. <laughs> vinegar is sour. Yeah. I mean, that's part of the learning process of. That's, I mean, that's why that's, if you're brewing one or two beers a week, I mean, you can kind of experiment and find yeah. out. Yeah, and that's actually the only beer we've spoiled through like. Well, yeah, and so, I think all yeah. of them have tasted good. None of them have tasted particularly home brewery, which is a good sign. I think We're my getting, favorite. My favorite was the. And this may be a style thing, but I thought that was good. I like the the dry hop sour. Yeah, oh, that, yeah, that one's a good one. I, the, the, I like the Rye IPA too. So we're yeah. we're definitely still working. I mean, we're we got a lot of shit to learn. But yeah. I think you know at where you guys are, this is what you should be doing: brewing as much as you can, crafting, finding those recipes, and like we said earlier, you know, go on social media, follow um, Thrasher. follow Thrasher, and if you do those free Always. fill Fridays, let us know. We'll push it out. But I mean. We'll always re it. Great. Yeah, great I mean, great beer. And, and yeah, I'd love to swing by. Bring, and bring a 64 I almost square. came that one time, but then I couldn't. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I, I almost came that one time, but then. But I <laughs> there was no food involved, so I could not make no, it. I decided it wasn't uh, worth the effort. I had to go to a. Like that a, was like a. I had to go to a work party that night. Oh, I had and to go if to it had, party. If it, had, if it had worked out where like you guys were away or something, but it turned out wherever wherever the location was was like way. North I live kind of far, but I, I would like to come and just hang out with you guys for a while. Okay. Yeah, man, you feel free Fucking to come hang out. Right. Yep. Dude, so, I, literally, this is us all day. We we just we giggle and laugh and pick on each other. Too. And yeah. Oh my god. god. I mean, there's nothing you know. If you stumble, we we love right. beer, but I mean, really, this this podcast is all about kind of like creating community of cool people who kind of are like minded and. and oh gosh, we're cool like finally, guys. Oh, man. <laughs> yes. and, uh, we invited you guys to our category party. Yeah, that's yeah. right. We'll see, on December we'll, the ninth, we'll see um, mm -hmm. uh, who who all can come to that. If we get enough interest, because mm -hmm. if there's like four people are gonna come, we get <laughs> <laughs> this is the one where it's all um, the rare Cigar City bottles that yeah. the listeners can't come to. <laughs> Burn. <Sorry, guys. laughs> uh, but but uh, we're we're pretty long, so we need to wrap it up at least on air. So oh, thank you to Five Points, Daniel Oval, and Patreon subscribers, Bert, Danny's and mom, Danny's mom. 
Uh, <laughs> next episode will be sometime in November. We haven't even talked about who or what's going to happen that month. But when you make your plans, you always write next episode. So it'll happen. And push social media, Thrasher. What are your social medias? Where can they find you? Uh, Thrasher Brewing, Facebook. Uh, Thrasher Brewing on uh, Instagram. And that's that's about it right now. We don't, we didn't, we haven't dabbled in um, emails. We don't have emails. Email. Email. Don't email. No, we don't. We don't have emails. Are so expensive. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, we're like, you make that investment. <laughs> No, we don't. We don't have a Twitter account. Um, Get us on CompuServe.com. <laughs> <laughs> Their GeoCities is very animated. <laughs> As you know, they just announced that they're getting rid of AIM. So, what is it? oh, Instant Messenger. Yeah. Oh. Really no more AIM. No more Yahoo Messenger. Did somebody still use AOL? Apparently, I was like, yeah, I was say AOL. AOL. I saw that. <laughs> Wait, that still exists? Brandon oh Missouri's God. like, who am I going to talk to now? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I can hear the dial-up right now at mom and dad's house. <laughs> and uh, Antebrum, we're easy because we're the only people call Antebrum. So yep, Facebook, look us Instagram, up. Twitter, email. Email website. us. Let us know what's going on. If you have any ideas for things we can do different or better. If you have a uh, guest suggestion or idea for ooh, I got a guest suggestion. Sure. Big Oak. Where are We've had them. Oh my god. Oh, we watched that one. God damn it. <laughs> Our second guess, I think. But Big Oak, if you want to come it's back. Like it's <laughs> we, get, we do need an update. There's a big joke. They keep talking about how they're going to bring Pop-Tarts. Even in the Catador party, though. Oh, like, no. Pop-Tarts. I fucking hate Pop-Tarts. <laughs> you do not, you do do not, not bring Big Pop-Tarts. No please. fucking Pop-Tarts. Kel- <laughs> Kellogg's is not going to sponsor us. We're listening all. Go for post. <laughs> You're going for post. All right. <laughs> I'm a General Mills man myself. Wait, they have always made Pop-Tarts? Yeah. Sweet, we got a sponsor. They came from General Mills. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pepperidge Farm. Remember. As always, <laughs> fiesta responsibly. Make sure you uh, have a driver if you're gonna have a good time. Be know. cool. Be 21. All those awesome things. And that's it. I think that's it. Is there anything else? No. It's been fun. Thank you, Thrasher. Hey, we appreciate everybody listening. We oh, appreciate yeah. you guys coming yeah, and no, thanks. hanging out Absolutely. and bringing us a ton of beers. Thanks for having us, really. It's been, a, it's been a great time. Toast to my ghost. And uh, if you want to come back soon and kind of let us know where you guys are. I'm sure. We'll be back sure. in November. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Peace out. We'll see you later.